Hey, best friend. So I'm going to teach you a way to use your femininity to attract any man or masculine energy woman that you want. This works and it works so well that I'm even willing to call this the kryptonite advice, okay? This thing works so well that if you use it on the right person, baby, you're going to get a ring, you're going to get some boots, you're going to get some bags, you're going to get some bangles, you may even get a baby, all right? So I need you to listen real close, baby, and only use this on the one that you know you want, baby, because it works so well, all right? Now, I know some of y'all are wondering, now, what qualifies you to give me this advice, beautiful? I know you called me beautiful. The reason why I'm qualified to give you this advice is because I, myself, am a gay man, if you can't tell, baby, all right? Which means that, first of all, because I am a man, I understand how we think, baby. Beyond that, I'm quite astute at attracting men, baby, okay? I don't teach from things that I don't know to be true, all right? So I'm going to teach you this powerful tool that works, and I'm going to tell you up front, it took me years to learn it because it took a lot of courage for me to start doing this. The tip is this, be vulnerable. One of the most feminine, one of the most intoxicating, one of the most alluring things that you can ever do is learn to be vulnerable. And by vulnerable, what I mean is be open, be transparent, and be forthright about your feelings, okay? Masculine energy is attracted to your feelings, and here's the reason why. Because generally speaking, men and women who operate with a high degree of masculine energy struggle with being able to communicate their feelings. They struggle with sometimes even being able to interpret their feelings. Some Sometimes we get so frustrated with them. We're like, well, why won't you tell me what you feel? Because they have a hard time even processing it. And because of that reason, they are very attracted to our feelings. They love our softness. They love our openness. It makes them feel safe. And I'm going to throw another element on it. When we are open about our feelings, it gives them permission to be open about their feelings. If you want to attract a masculine energy man or woman for that matter, be open about your feelings. And let me be more specifically. Be more specific. Be open about your feelings towards them. Let them know how you feel. Now, I'm not trying to have you in these streets looking like Boo Boo the Fool, telling them, oh, I like you, I want you, da 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 and they not telling you the same thing. Of course, you need to make sure that you pay attention to make sure that they're showing you signs that they want you, all right? But once you see those signs, don't be afraid to open your mouth. Stop waiting on them to say everything first. If you know you really like him, then be able to say it. You know, I really like you. I'm really enjoying spending time together. You know, you make me feel hopeful for a future together. Or, you know, baby, um, you know, it makes me feel so good to be with you. Oh, my God. I think of you every night. I'm thinking about you all day. Put that out there. You can be like, for real? You feel that way? For real? He going to love that, girl. He going to love that. He going to love that. And eventually what that does is it teaches him that he is safe. Here's the thing you have to recognize about masculine energy. They are more afraid of rejection than we are. Okay? I'm not saying that they're weak. I'm not saying it at all. But what I am saying is that for them, they really do struggle. If y'all click like and share this, I'm giving y'all some nuggets. Okay? Click like and share on this thing and let me know you shared it. All right? But they literally really struggle with that. Half the time, the reason why they won't open up their mouths and tell you their feelings or, or lock it down with you as early as you want them to lock it down is not that they don't want you, is that they are not 100% certain of where your head is at. While you trying to be all cute and coy and let him take the lead, what you're really doing is you are, you're coming across as ambiguous. You're coming across as opaque, meaning you're not being clear. He doesn't know what you feel. In his mind, he could be thinking, oh, well, she is spending time around me because she ain't got nothing else to do or maybe she just enjoys you know the, the good 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 loving that he'd be pouring on you you see what i'm saying he's making all kinds of assumptions in his mind about why you're around him and sometimes those assumptions are not exactly uh they don't 100 percent align with what you really feel you need to tell him what you feel about him tell him your feelings be clear with him because when you do that literally i'm telling you it will open the the floodgates of heaven for him to start pouring his love onto you for him to pursue you even more let me tell you this okay when you think about masculine energy, think of them almost like 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 a like a like a like a lion, okay? Like like they like they like they hunting for something, okay? A lion is not going to exert his his or her full energy to go out and pursue a, a target that he doesn't see. He's going to wait until he not only sees sees that target, sees that prey that he can go after, and he needs to make sure that that prey is also within his reach, okay? If it's close enough and he knows he can catch it, then he's going to put in every piece of his effort. To 
to go out and get that thing. But, but if he doesn't even see the prey or the prey is so far out that it doesn't seem like it's a realistic target for him, he's not going to put in any energy, baby. He's going to see it and he's going to keep on moving. Why? Because he doesn't want to waste his energy. Why? Because he doesn't want to fail. What you have to understand about masculine energy is this, is that our vulnerability gives them permission to pursue us. You sitting on the sidelines of life, sitting on the sidelines of dating, getting mad at why this person won't pursue you, why this person won't pursue you. How is it that we went on all these dates and we be talking on the phone all the time, then he just fell off and ghosted me because he didn't know that you really wanted him. Okay, baby? Do you know how many women have literally wasted his time before where they went on plenty of dates and ate up his good food, spending his good money? How many women text messaged him all day and was on the phone with him all day, every day for weeks at a time and then still turned out not to want him? That's happened to him many times before. You don't know what he's gone through. And because of the fact that masculine energy generally is not as good at being proactive about communicating their emotions, what ends up happening is that they're left in a lurch more often than you are of, of people stopping pursuing them where they kind of are the ones who are being rejected. You think you get rejected a lot. They get rejected a whole lot more. So when you choose to open your mouth and be vulnerable with him about what you feel towards him and why you feel that way. Now, you know, don't be just pouring it all on him from day one, but you don't trickle it out, baby, ration out, but still give him something. You are literally giving him, it's like, it's like laying out bait saying, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh, my tongue just did that. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm telling you is this, baby. I'm real good at this, okay? When I find me a man that I like, okay, one thing he never has to guess about is how I feel about him. I say, you know, I really like you. Mm -hmm. I love when you call me. When he calls me, this is one of the things you got to make sure you do, okay? You know that feeling when your phone rings? And then it's him on the other line, you know, when you answer it. And how you be so excited to answer it? Tell him that okay now don't make it up don't be lying if you don't really feel that way but tell him that be like oh my god i'm so happy to hear from you when i say be vulnerable what i'm saying is don't manufacture feelings to tell him tell him what you actually feel because the more you do that i almost want to guarantee you these men are going to do the same thing and before you know it he's going to be pouring everything out onto you pursuing you real hard and so it's going to be a win-win you have made him feel safe knowing that he can that he can catch you and and on the same page uh, he's allowing you to feel safe because now he's pouring into you letting you know wow yeah i really want you okay so again like i said now don't be doing this with nobody who ain't really showed you no signs that they want you okay you of course can have a baseline sense of um understanding that the man is interested in you in the first place but if all things are equal and you know this person's interested in you be vulnerable with him i know it's scary i know it's hard i know sometimes vulnerability sounds like the big bad b word but think of the alternative when you choose not to be vulnerable with a man or with anybody who you're interested in you literally close and lock the door to ever being able to have any kind of real bond with them vulnerability is literally the greatest thing that can ever attract love to us without being willing to be vulnerable we will never have love we will never have sustainable relationships we will never have the happiness that we desire and deserve so i want you to go ahead and click like and click share on this and go ahead and comment below this video and let me know what you think um also um if you're new to my channel click that subscribe button love you girls bye